I'm Kathy here in the Children's Garden at Mary Dell. And spring is finally here. The weather is warming up. And we'd like to show you some of the things that are growing in the garden. And I'd also like to demonstrate how to transplant seedlings. So even though we've had nice warm days, we've also had some quite cool days. We even got snow the other day. So the only plants that um, do well with that are our hardy cool weather plants. So we've put in broccoli, which doesn't mind a little bit of frost, and cabbage. We have some red cabbage also that we put in, and beets that we seeded. And they're just starting to come up. Other things that don't mind getting their toes cold are peas, which we seeded about a month ago. And they're looking wonderful, and pretty soon we'll have to be trellising those. And what I like to put with them is lettuce. This is red lettuce. They don't mind cool weather. Kohlrabi, which is an unusual vegetable, and some green lettuce. Other cool loving plants are carrots, which we put in this bed. And they're making a wonderful showing here. And we'll be ready to thin soon. And some kale. These plants actually do well this time of year, but won't do too well in the summer. It'll be too hot for them. They will wilt or they'll just shoot to seed before you get a nice harvest. Another bed in the garden that's doing really well and doesn't mind the fluctuation in the weather is our perennial pollinator garden. And this is a combination of herbs and flowers. And the reason we like to have this garden with our vegetables is because we it will, we're planting plants that attract um, our pollinating insects like the butterflies and bees. And today, I'd like to put in two more flowering plants to encourage all those insects into our garden. Now, you may have seen an earlier video that I did where we, I demonstrated how you can seed at home in a toilet paper roll. And this is a sunflower that I seeded that way. And that, as you see, it's all ready to go in. The roots are already growing out of the bottom. And that really is crying out to be put into the garden. So this method with the cardboard, you can put the whole tube in the soil because this is gonna decompose as the plant grows. Another thing to keep in mind when you're putting plants in a garden is the height of plants. You don't want the taller plants in front of the shorter plants and then shading them out. And I know the sunflower is going to grow very tall. So I'm going to put the sunflower right in the middle where it can shine tall but not shade anybody. So I'm going to dig a, a hole the depth of this. I'm going to plant it right up to the soil level that I have in the tube. place that right in there. Pack the soil around it firmly. Again, those roots want to be right next up, right next to the soil. Also important, right after you plant, give them a drink because those roots are going to be in a little bit of a shock. And give them lots to drink to help them transition to their new home. Now some of you may have gone to the nursery and bought plants in a pack. And I just wanted to show you how you can ease them out slowly. It's so important not to break the stem on a plant because that most likely will not grow back and the plant will die. If you need to hold the plant, hold it by the leaf because the leaf will regenerate. I like to squeeze the pack, squeeze the cell all around. Get my hole dug. So I'm ready to go right in the ground and gently tip the pack, squeeze on the other side, just give it a gentle tug and pull it out. And there we go. You can see that that is more than ready to go in the ground. Look at all those roots there. Sometimes I'll give it a little tug apart to get them going out in the right direction. We'll get this in the hole. This is a hollyhock plant. 
which will grow flowers right up the stem. Again, give it a drink of water. And it's always good to come out and check your transplants every day. If they're looking a little wilty, give them more water. It takes them a couple days to get settled into the garden. Another thing that helps with uh, transplants, and all plants actually, once you get into the summer, is mulching around them. If plants have to compete with weeds for sun and water, the weeds might win. So I always like to give a layer of mulch around the plants, holds the water in, so it's a water conservation method, and it will keep the weeds at bay. Now what I've used right here is grass clippings from my yard. Um, I let them dry out a little. I spread them out so they'll dry in the sun. If you put fresh grass clippings right up next to a plant, the, um, as they're drying and decomposing, they could burn the stem a little. But, so you can leave yourself a little ring around. But that will help your plant stay hydrated and healthy, keep the weeds down, and you should have um, beautiful plants growing in no time. Thank you for joining me and happy gardening.